could do it. Baker thought he was trying to draw a foul on that three. That was a crazy shot. Magic got one more chance, but they have to get a stop or else. And there's Schroeder and Randall bumping into each other, and it's a blocking foul on Randall, who has fouled out of the game. Chase on Randall's out. Dennis Schroeder going to the line, and I think he puts the game on ice if the Lakers make these two. Yes, he does. And again, you, make, you always make the point when a coach uses his challenge that this is the time of the game where you might want to save him. Yep, exactly. That was a foul that could have kind of gone either way. Yeah, I never understand. Unless, you know, like a superstar picks up his third foul in the first half and you thought there was no way that was a foul. That's the only time you should use your challenge in the first half. Three Lakers have double-doubles tonight. Montrez Harrell now has 18 points and 10 rebounds. He joins Kuz and Morris, all three of them with double-doubles. And they needed them all tonight, Michael. Orlando put up a much better fight than sure did. I think the Lakers anticipated. Well, they're a scrappy team. You know, all these guys, I guess they have something to prove, and they belong in this league, so they're going to play hard for Steve Clifford, even though they don't have the talent. By the way, Clifford, who was a Laker assistant under Mike D'Antoni, is a wonderful guy. You will not find anybody in the NBA with anything bad to say about Steve Clifford, who's been the coach now in Charlotte and Orlando. Both free throws good by Schroeder. The Lakers lead by seven. Here comes Bacon into the front court, and he gives the ball to Okike. Okike throws the ball top of the key to Wendell Carter, now hands it to James Ennis. Ennis came in to replace Chase on Randall when he fouled out. Dwayne Bacon's got it with seven to shoot. KCP is all over it, and now they call KCP for a foul. And Dwayne Bacon's going to go to the free throw line to shoot two. But I think it's too little too late, Michael. 58 seconds left, and the Lakers up by seven. Yeah, if it gets up within five, the Lakers is going to play. will use a lot of clock and not really have to shoot until, like, the last two seconds on the shot clock. Oh, the Lakers got a foul to give there, I beg your pardon. So the next foul would be free throws. And now they're going to correct it and say, nope, that was five. Let's send Dwayne Bacon to the line. We will join you next, Michael and I, on Wednesday night. Giannis Antetokounmpo is in town for Milwaukee, or with Milwaukee. The Bucks still one of the top teams in the East. That's a 7 o'clock game on Wednesday night. It'll be nationally televised by ESPN as well as carried on Spectrum Sportsnet. And every game we carry for you here on the Laker Radio Network. 96-91. After one of two free throws made on the other end, oh, I'm sorry, both free throws made on the other end by Dwayne Bacon. Five-point Laker lead. Montrez Harrell on the baseline. 15-footer by Harrell is no good. Rebound grab by Okiki. Okiki brings it into the front court. They need a three-pointer. Okiki bounce pass down low to Wendell Carter, who dunks it. 96-93, Michael. Yeah, well, 30 for 31 30 seconds. seconds left. That's a four seconds difference, so the Lakers have to score here. Right, or they give yeah. Orlando a chance. A three, yeah. So Orlando's going to full court press here. And Frank Vogel's going to use his last timeout. We'll keep it here.